Okay, hello everyone. Good evening, everyone. Okay, good evening, good teacher. Good evening, teacher. There you go, excellent. Okay, now let's go to see. We have Marfa, Miguel Garcia, Mauricio Trujillo, Heidi, hello. William, Jocelyn, um, Griselda, Brenda. Okay, so good evening to everyone. We're going to start. Do you remember what was the last time or what did we, uh, what was the last topic of yesterday? What was the topic yesterday? What was the topic yesterday? Grandma Farkas. Okay. Possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives, teacher. <laughs> no, it's okay. Excellent. Very good. Possessive adjectives. Okay. Now, let's go to see. Hold on, please. Okay, let me just share the screen. Can you check my screen? Is everything okay? Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So let's go to see the positive adjectives that we were talking about yesterday. Um, so do you remember that was the positive adjectives for yesterday? ¿Quién se recuerda que alguien me puede decir los positive adjectives que vimos ayer? My... Uh -huh. Here, his, our, and their. Yes, exactly. Your. Okay, possessive adjective. My, your, his, her, its, or, and their. Excellent. Very good. Okay, now let's go to proceed to continue with the lesson. So let's go to proceed. Okay, now. If there is any questions, please let me know. Si alguna pregunta, por favor, hámelo saber. Let's going to see, hold on. Okay. So we're going just to check the statement with B. What is B? Remember that am, is, are, okay? And with the positive adjectives, okay? Remember about the example about my name is, okay? Where are you from? Okay, where is your family? My family is from. But I said one recap, verdad? So let's I go into check. Mm -hmm. Yes. No. Okay. So for come recap de lo que ustedes después van a hacer de los ejercicios. Okay. So I am from Mexico. Y pudo haber sido también depende de la pregunta. For example, uh where is your family? Yes, where is your family from? Oh no, where is your family from? ¿De dónde es tu familia? Pudo haber sido que estoy hablando yo con dos personas o pudo haber sido que yo estoy hablando con una persona, depende del contexto. So, if this was just one person, it says, I am from Mexico. My family is... My family. I'm sorry? Is in Mexico. Adjective, yes. Now, what about if it says I'm from Mexico? Yes. Y estoy con mi pareja. I'm from Mexico. And his family. Puedo ver de repente al lado con eh, mi pareja. His family. Ok, la pareja de él. La pareja de la familia de él. Ok. Is in Mexico City. 
ok, pudo haber sido que estoy hablando de ambos, eh, depende del contexto. So remember how do we use my, your, her, it, que habíamos dicho que también para animales y cosas, ¿verdad? For example, uh, the tablet has its own charger, tiene su propio cargador, ok. The printer has its ink, tiene su tinta, ok. So it depends. Esto lo van a hacer ustedes, pero quiero saber si les quedó alguna pregunta ayer. Respecto a los possessive adjectives. No tengan pena, por favor. Eric, ¿alguna pregunta? Sí, permítanme. Ahorita la tengo acá. He tenido una duda ayer yo. Vale. Respecto a, a their, their, ya digamos, es el su de ellos, ¿verdad? Exacto. Their. Yes, yes, yes. Es el su de ellos. Yes, correct. Yes. I'm sorry, I was just trying to look for the class. Okay, yes, it's correct. El su de ellos. Their uh, laptop, their students. No, their students, no. Their co-workers, their class, a pesar que solamente sea una clase, es la clase de ellos. Ok, it's correct, yes. A ver, ¿otra pregunta? Uh -huh. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Hello, hello. ¿Nadie más? Ok. Yo. Mande. Dele, dele. Se uh -huh. encontré en el canal de YouTube. Uh -huh. Porque yo entré 10 minutos tarde y la busqué, pero no la encontré. Sí, disculpe. Lo que pasa es de que eh, no logré subir el video, a disculpar. Sin embargo, hoy lo vamos a subir. Esperamos subirlo hoy. O lo pronto posible. Ok. Ok. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? ¿Nadie más? ¿Nadie más? Ok. Uh, let's go to continue then. Vamos a continuar entonces con la siguiente lección o con el siguiente Everything repaso. Okay. Let's go to see this video, please. Vamos a ver el siguiente video. Who, where, when, and how. First, let's listen to an audio program and then we'll talk about it. WH Questions with B. What's your name? My name's Beth. Where's your friend? He's in class. Who's son he? She's my classmate. What are your classmates like? They're very nice. Where are you and Luisa from? We're from Brazil. How are your classes? They're really interesting. When we use WH question words, we want to know more information. Therefore, your answer cannot be yes or no. It is necessary to know the meaning of each word so you know what you're being asked. This way, you will be able to give a correct answer. Okay. If you check here... My name is Beth. They use the WH questions. We can use WH questions. Las WH is acuerda when, where, who, why, which, okay? So, there, if it's true, we're in the positive, but also what's your name? Where's your, okay, friend? And what's directly? Aquí puede haber diferente eh, respuesta. Puede haber sido, my friend is in class, or he is in class, ¿verdad? Who's, who is some he? She is my classmate. She is a friend, okay? She is my co-worker. That's up to you. 
pueden variar las respuestas. No siempre se ponen observadas en este contexto. Pero estamos bien. De momento, preguntas con respecto a esto, utilizando las WH questions. Mauricio Trujillo, ok. Where is your pen? Where is your pen? The pen. Lápiz, ok. Oh, Jocelyn, adelante. Go ahead. Sí, eh, tengo una pregunta con respecto al significado de what, where, who, and how. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Continue, continue. Eh, sí, eh, el, como decirle, el what es qué, el who me recuerda por favor. Ok, yeah. hoy tuve, estaba viendo unas lecciones, ok, doble H question, <coughs> the where, when, why, what, doble, eh, who, what time, what time, how, or which, ok, so, Where is the place? Mauricio is going to eat at Mike's Burger. ¿A dónde? Ok. Why? Es por qué. Why? Because. Ok. ¿Por qué ahora? Why is he going to do that? Because. When? He's talking about uh, the time. Not specific the time, but the yes. Ok. When is that action going to happen? Tomorrow, today, today tonight. Uh, I don't know. Next week. Un tiempo and on a specific time. Yes. It could be in a specific time. Uh, because we're not talking about an specific hour. Okay. What time? It is an specific hour. Encuesta es cuando y puede variar. What time? A specific hour. Okay. Who? Quien? Who is? Da, da, da. Um, who is this? Um, this what? Um, Who is this, this guy? Huh? Who is this guy? Maybe? Who is this guy? Talking about the person? Yes, talking about the person. Well, oh, oh yes. I, I, yes, I'm sorry. Yes, yes, it could be. It could be, yes. Yes, who is this guy? Yes. It's okay. Yes, yes. Who is? Who is? Yes. Who is? Yes. yes. Yes, I mean, because I don't want just to um, confuse between who's with who is. Okay, eso lo vamos a ver más adelante, los otros possessive. But yes. At otro? Okay. No, what, that's it. Thank you. What kind is que tipo de which is cual? Okay, now let's continue with this. Aquí estamos, no? Okay. Let's go to proceed with this one. Okay, sí, porque esto lo hemos visto, ¿no? Would be. Yes, yes, it's okay. Um, let's going to continue with the next one. That is a dolich questions with be. Remember that the be, it is am, is, or are. Okay, so vamos a hacer unos ejemplos. Okay, remember that there was some contractions. Okay, ¿se acuerdan que le dije? Quiten solamente una letrita, ¿se recuerdan de eso? Instead of who, uh, how is... Who is, where is, okay? Now, for example, the answer say that's Miss Smith, okay? That is Miss Smith. Sería, where, where's that? Hablando de lugar. Now, where's not, okay? Talking about how's that, una acción. No, we're talking about la respuesta nos lo dice todo. Miss Smith, okay? Who, talking about who. who. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are the WH questions with the, with the letter B, yes. Okay, where, who, yes. Let's going to continue and we're going to proceed to do something different. Estamos hablando, remember about WH questions, okay. WH plus B, okay. Um, <clears throat> ¿Quién me puede dar? Voy a empezar yo. Ok, hold on, please. Um, who's, 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 who's this? 
marker or who's is que no lo quiero poner así así. No, forget about this one. Who is porque esto sería diferente. Who is this student? Who is this new student? New student. Okay. Who is this new student? Podría ser. Yeah. Who is this new student? This is um, Mauricio Trujillo. Okay. Okay. Or he is better to say. He is Mauricio Trujillo. Okay. Who is this new student? He is or his Mauricio Trujillo. Okay. Great student. Great student. Okay. ¿Qué otra Thanks. manera puede ser? ¿Qué otra puede, podría ser? Ajá. Veamos. Where, where is my pen? Where is... Excellent. Where is my... Yes, my pen. Excellent. Answer, please. La respuesta. In the desk. My pen. Mm -hmm. My pen is... In okay. the desk. Okay. It's on the table. It's in the desk. Okay. With that, yes. My pen is... Ya tenemos el where, el who. ¿Qué otra? El... Why podría ser why? What are you working on Sunday? Podría ser como why un verbo to be. Mm -hmm. Why is my sister is my sister why is my sister at the hospital? Why is my sister at the hospital? Ya puse el my. Why is my? Okay. Excuse me, okay. I, I have a doubt. I have a doubt. Hold Excuse on, me. please. Okay. It, Why is my sister? Ooh, you, 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 you. Hold on, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I do apologize. What? No. The flying cockroach. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Tengo una duda con esa pregunta. Uh huh. Why is my sister at the hospital? Mm hmm. Uh, could be why my sister is at the hospital. No, why is? 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 Why you start with my sister, Why is? Why is? Continue, continue. Yes, I'm sorry. So, why is my sister? Yes. Primero, but verb to be. And then comes the positive. Why is, why are, uh, where are, who is. And for the answer, we start with the positive adjective. My sister, and then comes the verb to be. My brother, okay. My pen is, okay, so this could vary, okay, so first always, for example, it could be like, is my sister at the hospital? Who is my sister going to eat with? Why is my sister at the hospital? When is my sister going to eat uh, pizza, okay? Mm. What is my sister going to do? Okay, it could vary. So if you pay attention, yes, it always could vary. Where is my, what is, etc., etc., etc. 
Any questions by the moment? Teacher, what do you mean one time and one time? What time? Yes, or como, en qué momento se usa? Okay, what time is my sister going to play tennis? What time is my sister going to play tennis? What time is the class going to be? What time is the class going to be? What time are they going to eat? Okay. Para hablar de un, una hora en específico. An specific hour. What time? What time? Okay. What time? For example, what time is it, please? What time what? What time is it, please? What time is it? Ah, what time is it? Okay, yes. What time is it? Refiriendo, preguntando como una, una pregunta general. Yes, a general question. What time is it? Okay, but if we mix this, like positive adjectives with the verb to be that is talking about this one, for example, who is this new student? He is Mao, a great student. Okay, WH plus the verb to be. Okay, where is my pen? WH plus the verb to be. My pen is, okay. Um, why is my, talking about WH question plus, in this case, verb to be. My, then the subject is, okay, the verb to be. Okay, by this moment, is there any questions? What is your music favorite teacher? What is your favorite music? Okay. My favorite. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm sorry, do you have any questions? No. Okay. You have si no tiene una pregunta, if you don't have any questions, we are going to proceed to do an exercise with the sentence. First with a question and then with an answer. Okay, tienen dos minutos para formular una pregunta con una respuesta. With the knowledge question plus the verb to be. And if it's possible, is this possible? Uh, in positive adjective, si es posible. Tienen dos minutos. Okay. Knowledge question plus verb to be. That's positive adjective, okay. Okay, who's ready? ¿Quién está listo? Yo, teacher. 
Okay, let's continue. Yes. Hmm? So, yeah. Go ahead. Sí. Sí, sí, sí. Where is my book? Uh -huh. um, my book is on the table. Okay. Where is my book? Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Because we're talking about the possessive adjective. WH question plus possessive adjective. And the post, yes, it's okay. Where is my book? WH question plus the verb to be plus possessive adjective. Where is my book? My book is on the table. Excellent. Very good. Okay, who else? ¿Qué más? Hey, teacher, mm. where is my dog? My dog. Okay, where is my dog? Respuesta, por favor. My dog is visit a doctor or veterinary. ¿Cómo se dice veterinario? To a vet. Vet. Yes. My dog is visit a vet. Okay, you could say like my dog is at bed. Okay. okay, yes, excellent. But the thing is that the structure, the structure, excellent. Where is, where is my, where is my dog? Okay, it's okay, excellent. Yes, it. Okay, who else? Do you like oh, yeah. cook or with our parents? Uh, Chinese food. Okay, quien es, quien es, quien es, quien participa? Ayan. Ayan. Okay. Um, hold on then. So, could you please repeat the sentence? Okay, just let me screen this. this uh, let me just share the screen. Hold on, please. Do you like cook? Do you like cook? With our parents, genius food. Like cook with our parents. Do you like do you like cook or with our parents? Like Mex Mexican food. Okay. Do you like to? Because it has to join the structure to do you like to cook with our parents, or do you like to cook Chinese? Will be food. Or Mexican food. It could be like Chinese or Mexican. Yes. With our um, friends. Okay, excellent. Do you like to cook? Now, let's go to focus. Your sentence is finished. Oración está correcta. Pero nos estamos enfocando en esto. Okay. WH question plus the verb to be plus the positive adjective. Okay. There you go. Or what part. is your favorite food? What's your favorite food or what kind what kind what's your favorite food yes or what kind of food your favorite yes it's okay what's your favorite food or what kind of food is your favorite yes it's okay so you already used the verb to be here okay it's okay you already used it um the positive adjectives yes and you already used the WH question. Okay, someone else? Your what teacher. Is your hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Carolina? Okay. Um, as teacher, when came your sister? When One, came your sister? Can you repeat the question again? When came your sister? When came your. Cuando sister? viene tu hermana? Uh huh. Okay. When came okay. okay, I I answered. No worries, no worries. So no worries. When is correct. Now came. It is um it is the past. Yes. yes. So it should Back. be when it could be for the future. Remember that it's going to be for an action in the future. It could be say for an action in the future. When is your sister? Mm -hmm. Can be mass. Can be mass. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. When is your sister going? Going to, okay. Ahora, permítame que están tres participantes levantando la mano. Okay, Mauricio Trujillo, continue. Okay. Where, uh, what are you, what are you eating? What are you eating? I am eating 
uh, whatever, pupusas. Ok, ok, ok. Maybe. Ya vamos a ver eso. Excellent. What are you eating? Ahí queremos. No copien, por favor. No copien. Do not copy. Jocelyn, continue. Then Regina. Ok. Where is my sister cars? Uh, my sister car is in the car wash. It's correct. Where is my sister? Oh, where is my sister's car? Cars. Yeah. Oh, okay. Where is my sister's cars? Where? Cars. My sister cars. Oh. Where is? Where are my sister? Because it's talking about the cars. Where are my sister's cars? Where are my sister's cars? Okay. Let's continue with Jocelyn. No, that was Jocelyn, I'm sorry. Let's continue with Regina. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm. Your phone is came to. Okay, Regina, do you have a question? Or can you participate? What is your favorite color? Man, I'm sorry? What is your favorite color? What your favorite color? Okay, there you go. Thank you, Carolina. Okay, Emerson. Why is my notebook in the floor? Because it's full. Why is I'm why why is my notebook? Not okay in the floor. Not, not, not the book. On the floor. On the floor. On the floor. Okay. Emerson yes, Okay, who else? Okay, okay. Someone he, else? He is putting a book. Putting. A book. He is. He is. He's what? Putting. Mm -hmm. Putting. Like this? A book. Okay, let's going to focus on the topic. Vamos a focarnos en el tema. Okay, so the topic was WH plus B. Muy bien, lo felicito a todos porque de eso se trata, que participamos todos. WH plus the verb to be plus the adjective, possessive adjective. So, do you like to cook Chinese with our parents? WH, I don't have any WH question here. So, I'm just going to take it like, um, okay. Okay, hold on, please. Like wrong, okay? It's not correct. What is, por qué? Porque aquí estamos con el doblige. And we don't have any doblige. Okay, just start with the do. Okay. It's okay, no worries. What is your favorite food? Is that correct, yes or no? Yes. Yes, it's correct. Excellent. There you go. It's cool. Now, when came your sister? It's correct or no? No. ¿Cómo sería para estructurarlo correctamente? When is your sister come to? Came to. Okay. When is your sister coming? Okay. It could be like this. So right now, this we're going to be like wrong. Okay. When is your sister? We're just going to meet this one. What are you eating? <clears throat> Focus on the topic and focus on the topic. WH plus B plus the uh, positive adjectives. What is correct? You, the verb to be no. is correct. No, no positive. Okay, there you go. Now let's continue. Okay. Uh, let's go down. Okay. The next one, let's go into a little bit down. Then you continue saying, like the next one, I'm sorry. Uh, insisting, what are you eating? What about what are you eating? It's correct? No. Where are my sister's car? Is correct or is incorrect? 
in car, oh. my sister's cars. Sister's cars. Oh. Yes, because Carlos de mi hermana. Uh -huh. Because it's talking about the cars, the plural. Where are my, my. sister's Okay. Yes, it could be like this. My sister's car. Okay. It could be like the apostrophe, right? There you go. Apostrophe. Where are my sister's car? Verb to be. I'm sorry, told mm -hmm. plus verb to be plus uh, my yeah. possessive. Yes. So is yeah. it correct or no? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Now, what's your favorite color? Okay, correct or incorrect? Correct. This? Yes, because it is what? Yes. What is oh, your? yes. What um, on you? Why is my notebook on the floor? Is correct, yes or no? Yes. yes. He's putting a book, is correct or no? No. Oh, Eso sería what? solamente como una, como una respuesta, ¿verdad? He's putting a book, no sería ni como una respuesta, sería como... Eh, una oración. So let's focus always on the topic, yeah. okay? Now, let's going to continue with this. Okay, hold on, please. Okay. Let's going to listen. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people where yes, no questions and short answers with B are introduced. I want you to listen and notice how Sanhi and David ask each other yes no questions and how they answer. How's it going? Hey David, how's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go. Okay. There you are talking about of the how is it going? Como va, sí, en este caso. Como va todo, talking about a conversation. Usually, it's, how is it going? Talking about the conversation. This is just a general conversation that you try to, to, to establish a conversation between two people or uh, somewhere else or so. How is it going? How are you? It could be to follow a conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry? What is the meaning of chemistry? Chimica. Chemistry. Chemistry. Uh, Chimica. Chimica. Thank you. No worries. So they are just uh, talking about conversation. You see, conversation, well, how is it going? Okay. Another word that you don't know here? Otra palabra que ustedes no sepan aquí? Is there another word? No? Okay. If it's not, we're going to continue. Okay. Yes and no questions in short answers with B. Let's go in just to listen, please. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to make yes, no questions and give short answers with B. Yes, no questions and short answers with B. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Is Beth's class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Take a look at the question. Okay. Should let you go something. Okay. If you pay attention, when you start a sentence, or better say, when you start a question, yes, with the verb to be first, it starts the verb to be, and then comes the subject. Okay. Are you, we're not going to say, uh, are he, 
First comes the verb to be, there are three of them, are, am, um, and is in the present form, yes, or in the base form. Then comes the subject, okay? You remember about the subject? In this case, it is subject pronouns. It is you, I, they, he, okay? These are the subjects. So teacher, can they say David? Yes, David, it is talking about he. Is David, to form of the question, is David from Mexico? So what I'm trying to say, always that you start with a question of something specific, it has to be with this, okay? It has to be with the verb to be. For question, it has to be with the verb to be at the beginning. Then, if you're talking affirmative or negative answer, so it has the answer, affirmative, yes. So it changed, for example, look at here. Questions, verb to be, and then comes the subject pronoun. Luego primero verb to be, y luego sujeto. By the other hand, first, for answers, it starts with a subject. Primero empezamos con el sujeto, obviously. And then comes the verb to be. Yes, I am. For example, are you, are you a teacher? Are you a teacher? Yes, I am. But in a negative, yes, I am a teacher. No, I am not a teacher. Okay? So I am, and we always start from an answer with the subject. Porque estoy afirmando. I am just saying something, a statement. I'm not, I'm not a teacher. I'm an engineer. Um, I am a teacher. I'm not an engineer. So that's the pen. Pero for a statement or for a sentence, it is going to be first the subject, and then comes the verb to be. For the questions, it's going to be first the verb to be, and then comes the subject. At this moment, is there any questions? Guys? Teacher, eh, yo resolví el, la prueba que sigue a este video, pero no me dejó pasar las primeras dos respuestas. No me aceptó ni yes, I am, ni no, I not. ¿Por qué sería? Vamos a checarlo, no se preocupe. Vamos a checarlo, ok. Let's, uh, uh, una pro otra pregunta aparte de eso. No. No, ok. Ya vamos a checar, a veces puede ser un problema de, no sé, plataforma, no lo sé. Pero en cuanto a, a este momento, les cuento sí. So, yes, no long answer would be, ok. Okay, remember that you can be used for singular or for plural. For example, I'm at this moment speaking with the Juan Jose Avalos. Okay, so I'm just going to tell to Juan Jose, hey Juan Jose, are you from the, are you from Spain? It is España. I know. Okay, no, no continue. Continue all the sentence. No, I'm not continue. Termine toda la oración. No, I'm not from Spain. Mm -hmm. I'm from Sabal. Excellent. Very good. Now, uh, Dalia, no. Who is? Ah, Dalia. Okay, Dalia, I'm sorry. Dalia and Miguel. Guys, Dalia and Miguel, are you from Russia? No, not from Russia. Okay, what Miguel. Okay, once again, Dalia, Carolina, and Miguel. Hey guys, are you from Russia? No, I'm not from Russia. No, I'm not from Russia. Okay, ¿cómo sería la respuesta? Hey. No, we're not. Um, no, we're not. I'm talking with you three, with Carolina, with Dalia. And with me, hey guys, how are you today? Hey guys, are you from Russia? So they, huh? No, oh, we're not from Russia. We're from El Salvador, okay? Because you have company. If it's true, one could be with Juan Jose. Hey, Jose, are you from Spain? And then the rest, no, I'm not. I'm from El Salvador, okay? But if I have 
Dahlia, I have uh, Juan Jose, and I have Miguel. Hello, guys. How are you today? Guys, are you from Russia? You look very white. No, teacher. We're not from Russia. We're from El Salvador. We're from, uh, we're from Guatemala. So talking about day three, no, teacher. One, two, three. We are, okay? So we're not or weren't from Russia, okay? It depends who or what subject that you have in that moment, yes. Are you from the United States? Yes, are you from the United States? Es depende, si aquí tuvieran un dibujito o tuviera algo así, ustedes perfectamente pueden escribir. Yes, we are from the United States. Or no, I am not from the United States. Or yes, I am from the United States. That's up to you. But the thing that I want you to go is, lo que quiero hacer es que esta respuesta puede variar. Y guys, aquí les ponemos otra vez eh, Dalia, Juan José, en Miguel. Y están aquí entre paréntesis. Ellos tres. Ahí sería we, ¿verdad? Pero si yo solo pongo como sujeto aquí, Dalia, como una personita, Dalia, so, solo sería una. We. I am, yes. Pero si salen tres personitas acá, dibujaditas, it will be different. Ok. By this moment, is there any questions? No. No, ok. There you go. Um, Is your teacher from Canada? Okay. Now, I'm just going to do some questions. Let's going to start from here. Okay. Pausa. Okay. Okay. Now, we're going to start from HP. Who is HP? HP. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? HP. <laughs> Come on. Okay, let's start from HP. Could you please give me an example? Yes, with the that we were talking about the bird to be and also um uh, yes or no answer. Could you please give me an example? Hello, hello. No. Turn on um, your microphone. Can you listen? No? Hello, hello? Yes. I, I think that HP has uh, turned off the microphone. Ah, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Got it, got it. Okay. Let's go to continue, please, with Felix. Okay, Felix? Okay. Yes. Felix? Yep. Okay. Could you please tell me a sentence? In here. Yes. Hello, hello. Could you please? Yeah, tell like. Me? Yeah. Sorry. For example, I you are rich. Okay. Are you rich? Okay. That has the word to be. It so I can something. answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Continue. Uh, the answer could be um, yes, I yes, I am rich, uh, the rich person, or no, I'm not rich person, something okay. like that. Yes, it's okay, excellent. Dalia or Carolina, no, let's going to see who's the one that never participate. Johnny, <laughs> okay, Johnny, uh, continue, please. Could you please give me an example? Um, be the same sentence is your English class in the morning. Is your English class good morning? Okay, could you please uh, give me an answer? Yes, it is, or no, it is. No, it isn't, or no, it is not. Right. Okay, to make an emphasis, excellent. Um, Eric, continue, please. Okay, Eric. I think that he's trying to try. Okay, uh, Emerson, Hola. Emerson, Emerson. Oh. What is Emerson? I'm in the house. No, I'm I'm in my work. Okay, 
Emerson levantó la mano. ¿Dónde está Emerson? Por favor, díganos la pregunta. Hable, hable, dígame. Emerson Canales. Ajá, vos. Reactivar audio. I'm sorry. Yes, continue. Are you in the house? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. I'm in my, I'm my work. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Are you... Ok, excelente. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Teacher, creo que mencionó mi nombre. Solo Eric. que se me vea. Sí. Sí. Eh, por ejemplo, uh, ¿Are you working? Uh -huh. ¿Are you working? Yeah. Ok, okay no, I'm, I'm not working. No. Yes, because you're using the subject and also you're using the subject and also the verb to be and you're using also the uh, progressive. Yes, it could be a present continuous. Sí, está bien. Puede ser bien con la correcta grabación. Are you working? Negative form, please, Eric. Are you working? Negative form. No, I am not working. No, I'm not working. Excellent. Affirmative, Eric. Yes, I am working. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Now let's going to proceed once again. Okay, so you already know how to do these answers or these questions. Excellent. Vamos a continuar. Okay. Let's exercise. Okay, let's just take a look. Marcas on the selection. Well, this is for a reading. Okay, esto es más que todo como para lectura. Hold on, please. No sé si alguno de ustedes ya lo vieron. Yes. Yes. Okay, ¿quién me lo puede leer, por favor? <coughs> si gusta, yo, Miss. Okay, continue. Uh, desde el inicio, desde what... What's yes. in, an, in a name? Okay, I'm just okay. going to start. Si quieren empezar con eso, yo y después comienza your name. What's in a name? Look at the names oh. in the article. Do you know any people with these names? What are they like? Continue, please. Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. Is It is an important part of your identity. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Thank you very much. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to continue with, thank you very much. Excellent. Continue, please, Miguel Ramirez. We are two names popular. And why are some names unpopular? Okay, names hold on. Can... Thank you, thank you. Why? Why are... Why are these? Let's going to repeat all of you, please. Why are these names? Why are these names? Continue, repeat it, please. Why are these names popular? Yes. And why are some names unpopular? Okay, names unpopular. Can be unpopular. Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book character. Or actually, popular names suggest very positive yes. on popular. Okay. There you go. Excellent. Names can become popular because of famous actors. Se pueden volver a become. Okay. TV or book characters of athletes. Okay. Popular names suggest very positive things. Excellent. Continue, please. Let me just check. Hold on. Uh, Carolina uh, Alvarado, yes. Continue, okay. please. Um, popular names suggest ne negative things. Uh, Supremely, really, really. people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some kind of opinions about, about names from Russian. Okay, excellent. 
Excellent. Um, popular, please repeat, por favor, uh, mi señor de Baral. Popular. Okay, popular. once again. Um, popular. Um, popular. Okay, now continue. Negative popular. things. Repeat. Negative ne things. Negative things. Okay, now let me see what negative else. Things. Okay, here are some comments. Okay. Survey, please repeat. Survey. Okay, Survey. there you go. Now, let's go to see. These are like adjectives. Esto va a ser como adjetivos. Es como what's in a name. Pueden cuando ustedes le van a poner su uh, sobrinito, su hijo, su hija. You are going just to look for the meaning of the name. The couples usually take a long time looking for the meaning of the names. Se toman un largo tiempo. Se es posible hasta dos, tres meses las parejas para ponerle un nombre, ¿no? Okay, George, could you please continue on? Let me see, hold on, hold on. Okay, Heidi. Okay, could you please read the boys' names? Okay, teacher. Boy name is George Average Boring. Jacob, great tape and friendly. Michael is good looking, athletic. Stanley is nerdy and serious. Okay. Your snake, okay. So there you go. Oh, oh, oh. Excellent, very good. So it is George, the average, or boring, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you know what it means, boring? Can sabe qué significa boring? Aburrido. 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 Okay, <laughs> now, remember, por favor, recuerden que está en los adjectives con el ing, y una cosa es ser bored, y la cosa es describiendo. For example, interesting, okay? For example, that's an interested class. And that, that's an interesting class. Okay? But I'm not interested. Pero no estoy interesado. Okay? Entonces, tengan cuidado con los adjetivos, ¿verdad? Uno es para describir a una persona y el otro es para describir eh, de lo que se habla. O puede ser, that's an interesting, uh, that's an interesting boy. Okay? Es un muchacho interesante. But I'm not inter I, I am not interested on him, but I'm not interested in him. Okay, just an example. Okay, be careful with this. Los adjetivos en ing y los adjetivos ed que son para describir la al estado de la persona. El estado puede ser mejor dicho. Right now I'm bored, pero la clase es muy interesante. That's an interesting class, but I'm bored. Pero está aburrida. Okay, so continue please, Brenda. Jacob. Brenda Jiménez. Eh, okay. Lo leo. Yes. Eh, Jacob, creative and friendly. Okay. Creative and friendly. Nerdy. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Um, let's going to continue, please. Um, Sara Carvajal. Continue. ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál sería? Michael. Michael. Michael, good looking, athletic. Ok, excelente. Ok. Michael, good looking and athletic. What it means good looking? ¿Qué significa good looking? Es como apuesto. Excelente, very good. Ok. Continue, please, Jonathan Alfaro. Uh -huh. ¿Está Jonathan Alfaro? Hola, hola, sí. Ok. Uh, Stanley, Stanley, nerdy, serious. Nerdy, what it means nerdy? Uh, no. I don't know what, what it means. Ok, what it means nerdy? Uh -huh. What it means nerdy? Intelligent. Intelligent, okay. Yes, it could be like super intelligent. No, I don't have idea. Well, it is like intelligent. You're totally right. Okay, excellent. Who else? Martha, okay. It is like a, like smart or intelligent. Excellent, very good. Like a smart or intelligent. There you go. Okay. Um, who else? ¿Qué más quiere pasar ahorita? Uh -huh. Terminemos los adjetivos, por favor. ¿Qué más quiere pasar?
Eagles Nails. Yo sé. Vaya, pase alguien ahorita. ¿Qué va a ver qué más? Uh, girl, girl's name. Uh -huh. Betty Old Fashioned Average. Ok. Old Fashioned. ¿Qué significa Old Fashioned? Como pasado uh, de moda. Pasado de moda. Anticuado. 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 Muy bien, anticuado. anticuado. Excellent. Um, Continue, please, Griselda. Emily, independent, adventurous. Okay, independent and adventurous. What it means, independent and adventurous? Independiente y aventuroso. Y aventurada. Aventurero. Okay. Aventurero, sí. Okay, um, continue, please, Jonathan Alfaro. Jane, plain, Ordinary. Okay, excellent. What it means play? I'm sorry, what it means playing? Playing. Mm, I don't have idea. Okay. Huh? Who knows what it means Simple. playing? Mm -hmm. Como ordenado, como planificador. Metódico. Metódico. Mm. Okay, could be like metódico, yes. Okay, no creo que van a pensar en un avión, ¿verdad? Pero es más que todo como, podría ser o metódico, o podría ser algo sencillo como adjetivo, como persona. Ok. Ok, there you go. Who else? Who else? Sabe. ¿Ah? Porque eh, orden, Ordinario es el otro, ordinario. Podría ser el otro, ¿verdad? Ok, excellent. Ok. Como que debería ser no ordinario, eh, o el otro sería como más sencillo, más plano, más. Eh, que podría ser otro adjetivo similar. Ok. Más exacto, más inequívoco, depende de cómo lo, lo, lo interpreten, ¿verdad? Ok. Now, let's continue. Please, and the next one, and the last one, Juan José Ábalos. Ok, excuse me. <coughs> eh, se me cerró, permítame. Se me cerró la... Hola, hola. Le escucho. Hola. Le escucho, le sí, escucho. Sí, pero eh, se me cerró el... Ah, ok, ok, ok. Lo que pasa es que se me cerró la ventanita y no la alcanzo a ver. No ok. No sé qué le pasó aquí a la ventanita. Permítame. Ah, ahorita, ya. Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. Uh -huh. Ok, beautiful and intelligent. Ok, excelente. Terminemos con la última que sería HP. Okay, to finish, please. Oh. Yes, so why? So, so, why do parents give their child, children unpopular names? Mm -hmm. The biggest reason is the tra tradition. Tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. A new that is unpopular no might <laughs> become mm -hmm. popular in the future. That's good news for all the George and Berries out there. Excellent. That, that's good news for all the George and Berries out here. Excellent. Ya, momento. Algo que quieran preguntar. Por ejemplo, recuerden que por etapa, vea, opinions can change over time. En algún su momento, para las personas de 40 años, por decirle, ¿verdad? Pudieron sentir que el nombre que estaba muy popular era Andrea, ¿verdad? O Alejandra. Últimamente se ha vuelto algo como popular que Fiorella, en vez de Alejandra, Alessandra. Y le cambian completamente los nombres, ¿verdad? Ahora los nombres han cambiado. Depende de la opinión, va cambiando con el tiempo. El trending, y la tendencia, ¿verdad? Y así sucesivamente. Entonces, por ejemplo, Mercedes. ¿Quiénes de aquí tienen alguna amiga que se llama Mercedes o del milagro o cosas así? Antes le ponían el nombre de los santos. Entonces, no sé, no se me viene ahorita, pero he escuchado como milagro, no sé qué, o unos nombres sí. anticuados. Que... ¿Ah? De hecho, eh, mi papá se llama Abelino. Eso es súper raro. 
en, en esos tiempos y mi, 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 mi abuela se llamaba Tránsito. Y yo como, ¿qué abuela? ¿Qué yes. nombre es? Exacto, sí, yo he escuchado así como que uh, hay alguien que se ha vuelto muy famoso, pero la tradición se ha sido de que el abuelo se llama Domingo, el otro también, mi papá se llama Domingo, y el joven que es más joven que yo se llama Domingo. So, yes, it's just a defense, okay, change over time, but well, eh, creo que nos vamos a ver mañana, chicos, y terminamos de que la clase, así que fue... Um, un gusto verlos, cuídense mucho. Yo voy a ver si hay algo aquí malo, que ya me dio miedo. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye.